Hey, I'm Nate, and today we're checking out the Huawei Snap2. This is an LTE smartphone that's trying to spruce up the low end of the mobile phone market. You can pick one up unlocked for 180 bucks. The Snap2 looks nice enough, if a bit plain. The bezel around the screen isn't too thick, which leaves plenty of room for the 5-inch display. It only has a 720p resolution, which of course pales in comparison to the pricier phones you'll see out on the market. But all told, it's a decent screen. Photos and images look good, and while the off-axis viewing angles aren't especially wide, colors don't shift when you tilt the screen around. The Snap2 name comes from the 5 megapixel camera's ultra snapshot mode. Press the down volume button twice when the phone is locked, and it'll snap a shot of whatever you're looking at. The camera isn't exactly spectacular though, and it doesn't tackle motion all that well, which defeats the purpose of that ultra snapshot mode. The phone is a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon processor. Performance is fine. I didn't have trouble getting around the interface, and I've been doing a lot of testing on the new mobile game Does Not Commute, which works well. There's only a measly 8GB of storage, but you can pop off the back cover and add a microSD card for a bit more room. The phone also runs Huawei's customized version of Android 4.4 KitKat. Menus and icons look a little different from stock Android, but it's generally pretty easy to get around. There's no app drawer like you'd find on a normal stock Android phone though, which I've always found really annoying. And that's the Huawei Snap 2. It's a pretty basic, no frills device, but if you're looking for LTE and don't want to pony up for a contract, 180 bucks is a fair price. There are, as expected, compromises, so you're going to want to read my full review before you pull out your wallet. I'm Nate, thanks for watching.